You guys, I never realized, but I am like a sloucher. And it's taken me about, I would say, like 20 minutes just to get this lighting right. It's gotta be perfect. It's the Pisces and Virgo in me. What can I say? Do I look too saturated? I never wanna look like an umbrella, but you know what? Let's just get started. Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to do this video because I'm gonna show you guys my go-to makeup look that I have been using for like the past two weeks, I believe. And as I'm applying my makeup look, Benly, Ben, for the love of Peter, please. I didn't want Ben in my background, so I've kind of like kicked him out, but like I made him a nice pretty bed outside and he's just not happy with it. He wants to come in, but like he's gonna ruin my background, so I'm gonna kick him out. And I'm also gonna answer a couple of questions that you guys sent in to me. The questions you guys sent in, I was like, you guys are good, like these are some really good questions. I also, guys, how is buying my foundation lately? You guys are gonna be like, oh, I have here my vitamin E cream. I am going to take the vitamin E cream inside of the palm of my hand. I'm gonna take a little bit of my glycerin. I'm actually making my own kind of BB cream, you guys. I just kind of realized that my favorite foundation at the end of the day is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I just love how it doesn't feel super like cakey on my face. I put it right inside the palm of my hand just like that. I mix it up just a little bit with my finger and I'm applying it with my fingers. Just all over just like that, you guys. Yeah, that's right. This is how we're going to put on our foundation today. I'm gonna grab my Tarte concealer. You guys know that this concealer is fab. I literally just dab like a little bit. I love doing it this way. I don't know what it is, but lately I've just been loving like applying my makeup with my fingers. And I just kind of like put it over the lids as well just to kind of brighten them up. And I bring my concealer down just a little bit. I will tap a little bit over my nose, but that's about it. I don't really put it anywhere else. So now I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll be right back. I just wanna mention that I absolutely love this bodysuit and I'm super happy that I've been trying out color, you guys. I've never been happier like with my wardrobe and fashion in general because I'm trying color, I'm so excited. We are going to, what is next, Steph? Cause you are just such a free bird every time you do your makeup. You don't even know really what you're doing at the end of the day. Sis gave this to me, I absolutely love it. So it has everything I need for my under eye, this color and this color and I'm just gonna mix it a little bit and I'm going to apply it underneath my eye over here. I've been using this that sis gave me so gold is the new black like of course it is This is by dose of colors take a brush just like this this one How come it doesn't have a name on it? I don't know I'm sorry you guys and I kind of just use it as my contour a little bit to bring in that darker tone around my cheeks This is gonna be a very bronzy glowy look you guys. This is the look I love to do in the summer I'm going to answer one of your questions because they almost forgot that I'm supposed to okay what would you tell your younger self and what defines being successful to you? I would tell my younger self to stop being so afraid. I was afraid of a lot of things before you guys. I wasn't really raised to take um, many risks and I was told, you know, like always be careful and no, take the safe route. And the problem with that is, I'll tell you guys, when you take the safe route all the time, you're gonna be left with this very like stagnant sort of like, it's just everything just stays the same. Nothing ever changes and you don't really grow when you're in that kind of state. Just do it, like just do whatever you think makes you happy. You learn from that. Like if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It is what it is, right? And you kind of just have to move on from that. Success, I love that question because success, if you guys were to ask me a year and a half ago, I probably would have said, or I would have defined success as having a lot of money and doing something that brings you a lot of money. If you ask me today, it's like, I can't even tell you guys. It's crazy because success has changed in a definition where I didn't even imagine. Success to me today is number one, like first before anything else is doing what you love. And I can say I'm doing what I love. Number two, I think what's very important is affecting other people in some sort of positive way. I never thought in a million years, you guys, I never thought. I went into YouTube to be honest with you. I'm just gonna make videos for people and show them stuff I like and I'm gonna be creative. I never thought that my videos would have any sort of impact on people's lives. I never thought that, I swear to you. And when people started reaching out and saying, oh my God, you inspire me, this is what really hit me. There's people that would say, you know, I was having a really bad day and watching your videos, you have no idea how much it made my day better. Or if people were like, I'm going through a really rough time and your videos really helped me out. You know, like it just, it's just so heartwarming. And I'm so grateful. I am so happy that I could be that for, for even one person. That, that will, will bring you full success. That's what I really think. So yeah. Thank God I didn't cry throughout that answer. 
Is there a reason why you and your sister don't live together? We used to live with each other before. Um, she moved out, I believe it's over two years ago. She's in a relationship, so she's moved out with her boyfriend. She has, you know, her own life now. We still hang out, like, a lot. I go over all the time. It's, like, literally my second home. She jokes all the time that I should have my own key. I don't know why I still don't have my own key. So the next thing I am going to grab is this Midnight Sun Highlighter. And who is this by? Makeup Geek. <laughs> Sis gave this to me, absolutely love it. So I'm just going to apply that right over here. I love to be super, super duper dewy and shiny, you guys. I don't care if I look like the Tin Man. I really don't care. That's actually my end goal. Are you in a relationship currently? If you're not, do you feel bad that you're not? I'm just asking because I feel bad since a ton of my friends are and I'm not, but I just want to take my time. Y'all always want to know if I'm in a relationship. Oh, girl. I'm going to be using the Buxom palette. My sister gave me this one. Most of the stuff that um, that I have that's like more Sephora type stuff, I was given it by my sister. Suede Seduction Eyeshadow Palette. And the color I'm going to be using is... What is the color I'm going to be using stuff? What is the color? Social Scene. So it is this one right over here. I absolutely love my taupes. Like those are my favorite. And I'm going to put it all over my lid here at the bottom. I am currently not in one at the moment. Um, do I feel bad? To be honest with you guys, I only felt bad in the beginning when I was first single. I don't feel bad anymore because, you know, my life is my life and I'm where I'm at in my life. And the number one thing I've never been, like I've never been like this, you guys, whether it comes, you know, down to my work or, you know, life in general, I've never really compared myself to other people. I think it's probably the worst thing that you could possibly do. You're gonna have your own life, they're gonna have their own life. So if they get married, you're gonna feel the pressure to get married. If they have five kids, you're gonna feel the pressure to have five kids. You cannot compare yourself. I'm waiting for that right person, the person that I, I can really connect with. The person that can be my best friend, number one. Like the first thing, I need that guy to be my best friend. I'm actually enjoying this time. I grab the same color, but I grab a more like dense brush like this. And I kind of dab the lid. Then I will grab a smaller denser brush and we are going to go underneath by the lash line. This part I feel like really makes my brown eyes pop. Where were you born and what part of Portugal is your family from? So I was born here, I was not born in Portugal. And my family is from San Miguel. We are from Hobbes So Basically we're from the islands, we're not from the mainland. Using the Maybelline one, this one is their lash sensational and look what I just did right there okay stuff what did you do with your clothes while you were in the process of losing weight I have been keeping some of my stuff but a lot of the pants I haven't been able to wear but I'm keeping them so I can do a video for you guys when I'm fully at my goal weight you guys will not believe I've tried them on now you guys will not believe did I just spit oh my god did I stay classy when I get so passionate I'm just like <laughs> But when it comes to buying clothes, to be honest with you, my main advice is stick with pieces like leggings, pants that are going to be, you know, stretchy and going to kind of move with your body no matter what size you are. I would definitely avoid getting jeans while you're losing weight for sure because jeans is something where, you know, at the end of the day, they're either going to fit or they're not unless they're super stretchy. Once I lost, I would say like 15, 20 pounds. That's when I was like, okay, I need like one pair of jeans or you know, a more tighted fitter top. I'm gonna use my Stay Matte one by Rimmel. This one is the raw embrace color. We're gonna top it off with the lip gloss, the Rimmel lip gloss, and it's called Oh My Gloss. I know it might be kind of weird to put a lip gloss over a matte lip color, but I'm more in love with the color than I'm in love with the fact that it's matte because I'm not really a matte lip color person. What I've done is I have put my highlighter, like little bits of my highlighter inside of my Glam Glow setting spray. Now when I spray it, it gives me a shimmer. <sighs> That's great. How do you guys like it? Let me know. Let me know down below. Would you ever consider going vegan or vegetarian? Love you so much. Oh, thank you. I thought about trying to do like a vegan challenge or a vegetarian challenge. Currently, I don't think so. I don't think I'm there. I don't know if I ever will be to be completely honest with you guys. I do love meat. I was raised around meat. I grew up around meat. I would be that person that if I found an alternative to everything that I loved in a vegan or vegetarian way because it was healthier for me, I personally, I could see myself making that change. So maybe it's just a matter of me looking into, into it a little bit more. 
but just kind of dedicating my entire life to it at the moment I just it's just not realistic for me right now so I'm not too sure if you could go back to your original starting weight and do something differently, what would it be? Oh gosh, that's a very good question. I went through a few plateaus. I tried a few different, you know, techniques. Instead of being so stubborn, maybe just doing what I really had to do, you know, because I did waste a couple of, you know, a couple of weeks sometimes at a time because I was like, no, I'm gonna try it this way. You know, when I knew what I needed to do, but I always wanted to take these little shortcuts. And that's just me. I'm just like, I'm just always stubborn and I like to do it Steph's way and I like to test things out. Basically, if there's like a road sign that says this is the right way, Steph's going to go the other way just to see what's over there. And she's going to try to figure out a way to make it back to the right way. Like that's just, that's just how I am. Sometimes I would go back to maintenance calories, but I wouldn't do it for long enough for it to be you know, for it to be enough of a change for my metabolism to be like, oh, whoa, she's changing something up. I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna do it for a week and I'll be good. And then I would go back down and then nothing would really happen. I think I'm slouching. Why am I so saturated? I feel like the coloring of this video, like it's really bothering me. I'm like so picky about that. What is your weirdest craving? I don't have weird cravings. My cravings are really boring. I'll crave like pho, I'll crave booster juice, I'll crave my matcha drink from Starbucks. I think it's because I've managed to create this very balanced, realistic lifestyle where I will have the things that I want. So it doesn't make me get those, I guess, crazy cravings because in the past, I would have crazy cravings because I didn't have a very balanced, realistic lifestyle. Would you ever move out of state and where to and will you? Oh my God, this is such a good question. Will I ever move out of Canada? It's a possibility. I love to explore. I like to try new places. One thing I will say I do not like about Canada is the weather. The winter is just depressing. Like it's, it, I'm sorry, it's the truth. Right now you have no idea. Like I know I'm speaking for a lot of Canadians right now. And where I'm from, you just don't understand like this summer we are living for it we are taking every single bit of sun inside and i don't even like sun but it's because it's just such a happy season and it just makes you feel so good so i definitely would probably move somewhere where i don't have that issue it's so funny because in my dream world i would love to try out new york but the thing is new york has the same weather as us new york would be more for the experience in the lifestyle, but I don't know if I can fully stay there. It's a very fast paced. I like to be a little bit more balanced and homey and suburb, just a little bit. I can appreciate the city, but being stuck there all the time, I don't fully know if I could unless I'm really in there. The other place I'm very intrigued to go to is Texas. And it just looks so safe and homey. The people just look so friendly. The weather would be so much better there. I don't know exactly like where in Texas, maybe Houston or Austin, but yeah, it's definitely a possibility. So I'm not too sure, but it's it's kind of exciting to think about it. This girl sent me a ton of questions. I was dying with her because she's like, I'm not done yet. Like I am not done asking you questions. Which Kardashian do you feel like you have the most in common with? I'm definitely not a Chloe. I have a little bit of Kim. I have that, that glamness in me where I love to get all dressed up and look beautiful every single day and take care of myself and I love fashion and I love clothes. But I have a big part of me that's Courtney. I have that very like nurturing mom inside of me. She loves interior design. I love interior design. Courtney kind of likes to dip her toes into different stuff and I love that too. Courtney likes to be different. She doesn't like to be like everybody else and I can kind of relate to her when it comes to that. She's the most kind of down to earth out of all of them. Which sign do you absolutely not FW? Are you trying to get me in trouble in this video? Like, oh, okay. I'm just gonna say it. I'm, I'm just gonna say it. Sagittarius. I, uh, we just do not like, if you expect two things to come together, it's not Pisces and Sag. Like it's, it's just not, look it up, it's a fact. It's just not gonna happen. I have Sagittarius in my life and we are just so, different we're just so different like so different i have to say this i have to say it out loud the sagittarius women in general there's just a huge disconnect between us like sagittarius women and pisces women it just it just doesn't work i have a new friend in my life i said you have to tell me your sign because we get along so well and she goes i'm a sag no let me ask you again what's your sign i'm a sag <coughs> started to get hot inside the room, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it started to get very hot. I've had really bad experiences with Sagittarius women, I've just had like really bad experiences, so I'm kind of, kind of traumatized. I'm really traumatized. 
like fire and water we just don't go asking to mix oil and water and keep stirring and keep stirring and and expect it to kind of come together and it's just it's just not going to the thing with her is I said nah man something can't be right like something is not something is not right here something is just not right I'm like tell me more like I need to know your exact birthday she's basically part Scorpio part Sag I'm like okay now I can FW you now I know why I'm okay with you but we just don't get along you guys it's nothing <laughs> it's nothing against you well stuff it kind of is like you're saying you don't get along with them they don't have the sensitivity that we need they're too hard for us Cardi or Nikki girl I'm gonna have to go with Cardi never really been able to relate too much to Nikki Nikki's a Sag Cardi is more of my sound can you do a tutorial or advice on how to edit your videos when it comes to editing I use Final Cut Pro it's just taught me like the basics and then I kind of like learn certain things about it I kind of like to learn things organically um, but I also would go like on YouTube and look at tutorials and stuff like that I don't know if I'll be doing a video on how to kind of edit because I think it's kind of boring um, But Final Cut Pro to be honest with you super easy to use once you get down the basics I don't do anything special when it comes to my editing You know like when you guys see my my clothing hauls and you kind of see that introduction and it kind of pulls in it, It's very easy to do. It's not that complicated I learned it by just going on to YouTube and also of course this would show me but going on YouTube asking questions And they just show you how to do it like it's just so super Reasons. If you had the chance to redo or fix a situation that you regretted, how would you have done it differently? I think I would have redid my last breakup. I think I would have done it a lot sooner. You know, I think I would have left much sooner because although I learned a lot of lessons, but like at the end and all that time that I stayed was literally pointless. Like everything I needed to know was already in my gut and in my t intuition and I already knew the answer, but it's just like you kind of lingered and you stayed. And I kind of just wish I wasn't as weak or wasn't as insecure and I was just like, no, I'm leaving now. Like, why am I going to waste another day? So I kind of regret that and wish I kind of, you know, did it more sooner so that I can kind of just get on with my life a little bit faster. If you watch any series, which ones are your favorite? And currently I'm watching like a bunch of like food shows. So I'm watching right now Chef's Table. I love like watching food getting made and people traveling around and making food. I just love that. I love watching Power. Love, love, love. It's coming back. I'm so excited. I love The Affair. It's coming back as well. I'm super excited for that. I watch This Is Us. Narcos. Cannot wait. Queen of the South. Like I like a lot of drug cartel shows kind of weird but it's just it's just the reality yeah narcos is probably my like number one show to be honest with you guys i tried watching jane the virgin and i made it like to a couple seasons but it just wasn't me what are some of your easy summer hairstyles okay so you guys literally i have like three different hairs hair we'll do a low ponytail like this in the summer because i can't stand when hair is in front of my face I will do a low bun, so I'll kind of just roll this up and then do a low bun. I will do a top nut bun where everything is like nice and tight and it's just at the top. In the summertime, I don't really like when my hair is down, but I'll do either those waves that you guys see me doing or I'll do my straight hair, but I don't really do anything funky. I like to keep it very classy and simple and minimalistic. If there was one thing in the world you could change right now, what would it be and why? I wish that everyone was just so kind. I would love to live in this ideal world and I wish that there was just no violence in the world. Just wish that everybody was just happy so that they wouldn't have to do any harm to anybody because it's just sad. I just wish that that would change. How do you maintain your hair color? Do you have a certain hair routine? So my hair routine is I wash my hair once a week and I do a mask every single time I go in the shower. I do a uh, Jamaican castor oil mask that I just bought from Winners. I only condition the bottom half of my head. Just like kind of a fun fact if you guys didn't know. Um, when it comes to coloring my hair, I only, this is why I love the balayage and what I have right now in my hair is because it's so low maintenance. I don't really have to go to the hairstylist for like months. I'll just add like a little bit of highlights here or there now. That's where I kind of am at and then she'll just tone me. And then that's basically it. I'm kind of good for a couple months. So I don't really have like a crazy hair routine. I'm glad because I don't have to spend like a whole ton of money on my hair. Do you have any weird food combos? I love french fries and ice cream together. Oh my god, that is so... Okay, that is a weird food combo. I don't think I do. I like to always put soy sauce on top of my rice, whether I'm having like white or yellow rice. I love soy sauce on top of my rice. I dip my eggs in ketchup. I dip my steak in ketchup. I don't think I do. <laughs> I really don't think I do. 
Yeah, no, sorry, I don't. You guys had some really good questions, I'm not even gonna lie. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys thought about this video. Make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see all of my beautiful babes next time.